Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on August 4th, 2020. BP posts a huge loss, cuts its dividend. One of the world's biggest oil companies, BP, reported it will cut its dividend in half after reporting a huge loss for the second quarter significantly higher than analyst expectations. BP posted the $16.8 billion loss due to the steep fall in oil prices, while analysts pulled by facts that forecasted an $11.6 billion loss and compared with $1.8 billion profit in the year earlier quarter. Companies' underlying replacement cost loss hit $6.7 billion, far below $2.8 billion profit in the same period of 2009. BP set a new distribution policy after cutting its dividend to 5.25 cents per share. The oil giant said it will keep the dividend at that level and then return at least 60 percent of surplus cash to shareholders through share buybacks. Once its debt has been reduced and subject to maintaining a strong investment-grade credit rating. Manufacturing PMI in Turkey shows strong rise. According to the data from survey on Tuesday, manufacturing activity in Turkey rose in July at the fastest pace in nine years, as the country eased its measures aimed at countering the coronavirus pandemic. Data from the Istanbul Chamber of Industry and IHS market showed the country's PMI rose to 56.9 in July from 53.9 in June, recording its highest reading since February 2011. A broad reopening of the economy beginning on June the 1st brought the second monthly rise in new orders at Turkish manufacturing manufacturers, with the expansion rate was among the fastest since the survey began in June 2005. Moreover, July saw jumps in expansion in both output and new orders, which prompted companies to hire additional staff. SoftBank's telecom unit marks profit in first quarter. Japanese wireless carrier SoftBank Corp. on Tuesday unveiled a 4% rise in first quarter operating profit, beating analyst expectations, supported by its enterprise and internet business. Company's profit for the April-June period reached 280 billion yen, $2.6 billion, surpassing average estimate for the 262 billion yen gain. Overall, parent SoftBank Group Corp. has cut its stake in its telecommunications subsidiary to 62.1% from 67.1% as chief executive Masayoshi Son sells assets to fund the record 2.5 trillion yen share repurchase plan. The buyback has fueled a divergence in market valuation with SoftBank Corp.'s share price price fell below its 1,500 yen initial public offering price from December 2018, even as its parents' share surged to two-decade highs. North Korea apparently developed nuclear weapons. Several countries suppose that North Korea is continuing its nuclear weapons program, including the production of highly enriched uranium and construction of an experimental light water reactor, according to a confidential UN report. The report by an independent panel of experts monitoring UN sanctions said the countries believed North Korea's past six nuclear tests had likely helped to develop miniaturized nuclear devices to fit into the warheads of its ballistic missiles. The fact is that Pyongyang has not conducted a nuclear test since September 2017. Moreover, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un said last week there would be no more war as the country's nuclear weapons guarantee its safety in future despite unbeated outside pressure and military threats.